Okay, let's be honest. Right now, I'm going to tell you we've got the best Foodie Friday we've done. Well, this week. No, that's not true. We said, hey, you know what? We're talking record heat. Let's go have some fun. So over there would be the Long Island Sound. The Lobster Shack has been around for quite some time. And the reason they've done so gosh darn well is because it's all about family here. And speaking of long times, this actually used to be the Beachhead Restaurant established in 1942, but the Crismali family said, no, 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 no. We're actually going to, we're a little more newer than that, but you're going to meet Nick Crismali in just a second and his lovely wife Arlene, and they will tell you, you know what, they've been doing this for quite some time because Nick, your background is what? I was a lobsterman for 40 years. How? 40 years. So it's safe to say you've, you've been around a lobster or two or time to two. Yes, I have. Yeah, you got out of that and you decided to, to bring your, your wife, Arlene, in and, and run a restaurant. How nerve-wracking is that? It's very nerve-wracking. <laughs> she had to think for a second. Am I allowed to say certain words on TV? <laughs> no, but here's the thing. And the thing that I love about East Haven is uh, it's very family-oriented. You've got Mama Quinn Beach, uh, Cozy Beach. I've lived here, near here, for about 20 years. What's the uh, what's the the customer base like? What what do they come here for? Well, they come here for the for the view and the venue. They come here for the food, the lobster roll. You know, especially we, you know our business has always been predicated on a fresh lobster. Absolutely. Otherwise, you're not the lobster shack. You're just you're just a shack, right? Okay. <laughs> come with me. I want I want you to see the kitchen. We're going to go upstairs uh, next hour. And you're going to see after you, young lady. Uh, we're going to go upstairs. I'm going to show you the views. And uh, go ahead, young man. You you two can lead. We follow wherever there's food. We follow on Foodie Friday. Uh, Nick, who you got back there uh, wh whipping up stuff? Well, we have uh, Chef Modesto. Uh -huh. Hello, yes. Chef. I've been told Chef makes a, a really good crab cake, which we're waiting to see pop out right now, right? How long does that take to cook up? Uh, about, two I, about two, two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. All right. So as we're, as we're waiting for the crab cakes, I'll ask you. All right. So 40 years in the lobster business, uh, always here in Connecticut? Always here in Connecticut. Always here. Yeah. You've been running a restaurant. You've been here for five years, but the Lobster Shack's been around for 15 years. You started in Brantford. Which one's tougher? Uh, this is tough. This is definitely <laughs> tough. Well, you know, I, I don't like to take all the credit being a lobster. Man. My wife, Arlene, was the originator of the Lobster Shack. She uh -huh. started out in a small trailer. Really? Yes. How, did the, how, did, how did you birth this baby? Um, it wasn't, well, I didn't want to come out originally, uh -huh. but we bought a little trailer and my, my husband thought it would be a great idea to have the girls in, you know, summer vacation uh -huh. work on a little truck, right. but it just, it just mushroomed right. and it just, it, it's where it is today. Absolutely. I mean, almost 15 look years at, Look later. at what he's doing. What, what kind of sauce is that? Uh, this is a uh, vodka cream sauce. Uh, vodka cream sauce. I don't right. think I've ever had that on, on a crab cake. Look at that. Yeah. And those are the big hits here. Well, we sell quite a few of them, you know, amongst other things. Uh, the chef has really expanded our menu since he's come here. He's really put a, he's been the heart of our, our, of our business. You know, he's taken it beyond the lobster Fantastic. Roll. All right, well. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm listening. You, you keep talking. I'm going to eat. So what, so well, how, how good, right? He's, he's included, you know, the pasta dishes, mm -hmm. steak dishes. Thank and, you. Uh, and, you know, he's, so he's, he's developed the whole kitchen for us. He's, he's taken us way beyond the, 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 the traditional seat. You know, I thought we'd be eating nothing but lobster here, but that crab cake is good. Oh, man, we're going to eat well here. And, and they may adopt me before everything is done. Because, you know, if they cook this well, if he cooks this well, I'm moving in here, guys. Back to you. They've been doing it for 15 years, only five years here in East Haven, but they know their thing or, or two around a lobster because it goes a lot longer than that. We're here at the Lobster Shack, and boy, I tell you what, you come up here to the second floor. Hello, sir. How are you? Nice to see you. Big fan on the bike. <laughs> what a view. I, I tell you what, you know, we've all been feeling summer for the last couple of days, and we, we said, all right, well, Foodie Friday, where, where do we want to go? And the answer was... The, unanimously outside. That, that's what you said, right, Freddie? Yes, he's giving me the thumbs up. So uh, we found the, the lobster place. And, and even though you think, okay, they've only been here for five years, but no, they've actually been here in the business for 15 years. And this is actually was another restaurant, the Sandpiper, since the 40s. Is that right? 
1942. This is Nick Prismali, his lovely wife, Arlene. I'm sitting right in between. And, you know, we talk about, we're going to come to you in just a second, but let's start way at the beginning because it goes even farther back than 15 years because you've been a lobsterman for how long? About 40 years. And you did that, you didn't even start as a kid. You started that after having a career in some other stuff. I was a, I was a, a policeman for eight years. Yeah? yeah? And you said the lobster, the water's where you needed to be. Well, I gravitated to, to fishing, I just uh, lobstering, I enjoyed it, and uh, Arlene gave me the go-ahead at 30 years <laughs> the, old. The boss said go. And she says, if you're going to do it, do it now. Absolutely. So here's the thing, you know, I was marveling, I, I was drinking my, my coffee with, with the seafood. It's always a good combination, but, uh, what, you know, I'm reminded every time I come out to the water on an early morning that it doesn't get better than this. You started, you ran the restaurant first, right? I did. Yeah. Um, Nick was out fishing, and... I was at a little trailer. We uh -huh. started with a little trailer. Yeah. I'll never forget it. Uh -huh. Big enough for maybe three people. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, and I did. I and ran it for a year. And the menu and has expanded. What stopped, started with just lobster rolls. And by the way, you're going to see the lobster rolls in the next hour. We have what here? What's here? This is lobster mac and cheese. Oh, that looks good. And, uh, and these are the, for the famous fritters. These are, these are our fritters uh -huh. and that uh, I developed over over several months putting together the ingredients and came up what I wanted was more of an appetizer uh -huh. than just a dipping item. More uh, local radio legend Vinny Penn, uh, we were just giving him sass because he knows fritters but he hasn't had these so he's missed out. Oh that's good. They are not very doughy at all. No, no, that's what I, I tried to uh, you know eliminate was the doughiness of it by including some, some some uh, some vegetables and some spices. Yeah. The, the clam to fritter ratio is very high, so <laughs> nice well, to job here. I had a clam business for, for many years, and so uh, whatever the recipe was as far as the clam. He time, knows the shellfish to get them. She knows the shellfish to cook it up, and as a result, you add a little sun, and you got a popular place here, the Lobster Shack. Good morning to you, and I got to tell you, coming out here on the shoreline, and I live, you know, a mile or two inland, but you smell that that wafting water, the, 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 the sound salt, and it's like, man, this is summer in April. What did Rachel say? That, that we were warmer than San Antonio? Hard to believe. This is the second floor, second floor of the Lobster Shack. So is it really a shack if it's two floors? We'll ask that question. Chef Modesto, you don't know the answer to that, do you? <laughs> nah, that's all right. He's, he's just good at cooking. And boy, wait till you see the stuff that he's whipped up. Look at this view. I tell you what, it doesn't get better than this. And I said that there's that salt air that's kind of just wafting through it. And with the warm air, you know, it feels good, especially with that ocean, that sound breeze kicking in. But there's something else that's wafting through around the lobster shack, and that's the food. Check these dishes out. Are these not buttes or what? And of course, you've got the lobster mac and cheese, you've got seafood, you've got pasta, and of course, the signature right here is the lobster roll that I'm going to be diving into. Say hi to Nick and Arlene Krismali. Uh, they've been running this joint. They've only been here for five years in East Haven, but the shack itself, which Arlene will tell you right now on live TV because she doesn't look like the type of person that would fib, was actually a shack at the beginning in Brantford, right? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> totally a shack. Can you have a two-story shack? I don't think so. No. I think that's architecturally Nick, he even, illegal. He couldn't have been in our original. <laughs> how, how tall are you? Six foot two. Yeah, six foot two, former cop. Yeah, I think that, that, that shack might be a little little vertically challenged for you. I liked it. I didn't have to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But here's what Nick did. He would go out for 40 years. He was a lobsterman. He'd go out. He'd get the lobster. Arlene had a whole different career, and she said, hey, you know what? It'd be fun if I just made some lobster rolls and that's exactly it and you didn't have to cook at all no i didn't no. i just cleaned them yeah you just picked all the meat out and the next thing you know this thing exploded into a whole thing you moved here five years ago restaurants been here for like you know since like the 40s but mm -hmm. it's been the lobster shack for the last five years here in east haven what what's the neighborhood like oh the neighborhood is beautiful mm -hmm. um it, it in the summertime there's so much activity here yeah that it it's just contagious. You're it's like, shlinging a I lot wanna, of lobster rolls. I want to be like,
part of the neighborhood. I yeah. want to be out there, you know, walking with these people. And so we laugh, but you know what? The food here is delicious, but the people are what make the shack the shack. You know, it's not just the Chris Mollies and their family running it, and of course, they're fantastic staff, but it's the people. Talk about what we have here. What do you, what do you make? Well, we have the lobster roll, our of signature <coughs> lobster roll. But this, is, fresh lobster this roll. is not a lobster roll. No, no, and that's, <laughs> and that, uh, our, our, our chef has taken us uh, beyond the, the 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 lobster and the seafood mm -hmm. and he has brought us into the pasta and the oh, steaks man, i mean that's that? a fruity demand that's a yeah. I, was, uh, I was gonna use my fork but you know yeah. i'm just going in with my shrimp and mussels clams linguine you got everything here and He's the crowd's everything. coming too as long as you have warm days yes. i love you know you couldn't see this on camera but a moment ago we were looking down and somebody walked by they're doing their jog and they waved at you so they everyone yes. knows they're chris Molly's, right I I think so. Yeah. And, and, maybe and, not everybody. And they know everybody. And if you don't know the Lobster Shack, you're missing out. Because i got to tell you, this thing is screaming family. It's screaming community, which is what I, you've heard me say this a million times. What I love about Connecticut, the people come together and they support and the good food and the chefs and everybody working their tails off, literally. <laughs> See what I did there? To come up with a great meal. i got to tell you. Keith and Symphony, we may, we've hit pay dirt here with uh, the Lobster Shack. You got to come down here and check it out. All right, here, here we go. I'm, go. I'm going in, folks. My first lobster roll of 2023. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Just go back to you. It's too good. Mmm. Love it. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry about that. I'm enjoying my first lobster roll of the 2023 season. Can I hold a lobster roll and a microphone at the same time? No. But for Foodie Friday, those are the hazards of the job. Look at that thing. Is that not beautiful? That is a fine looking lobster roll, minus one bite of mine already. Now look at something almost as beautiful. I don't know. I think it's equally as beautiful. The Long Island Sound. We are here at the Lobster Shack. On the second floor of the Lobster Shack, which I kind of chuckle at because I don't, I've never been to a shack that has more than one floor, or indoor plumbing for that matter, uh, but the Chrismales would beg to differ. They say that this is the place to be for exactly what summer in New England is like. Summer in Connecticut on the water, it feels good, you can smell the ocean and then smell the food. Now, of course, keep in mind, as we take a look at the other dishes here, we'll tell you, yeah, it's a little warm. It's April, but you guys don't mind Nick Crismali, right? Not at all. No, not at all. Come. We've been looking forward to this weather all winter I long. I bet so. so. I bet. They've been itching to get the lobster rolls ready. So Nick was a former lobsterman for 40 years out on the Sound. He built a quite a good business doing that. But it was about 15 years ago that Arlene, his lovely wife and the boss here, said, yeah, I'd, I'd like to make some lobster rolls. And you did it one lobster roll at a time. I did. Yeah, and, yes, it, grew, and it grew quickly. It caught on. The shack, the shack in question was in Brantford, but you moved here when? To East Haven. Five years ago. Five years ago. And yes. you kind of expanded the business to a beautiful restaurant, number one. To introduce your chef as well, because he's actually taking you guys to the next level as well, right? This is Modesto. Uh-huh. And, and he and is the man who keeps the... He's the engine. He's the he's in the engine room. There he you just go. keeps everything the running. The brains of the outfit. I don't know. The, the brains behind the kitchen. The brains of the outfit. Ar Arlene, what do, what do you bring to the table here, Nick? Well, I'm, I'm like the physical guy who does all the phys mechanical work uh -huh. here. Yeah. Um, since I don't lobster anymore. Just, just, just work for her. That's uh, why. Yeah, working for her is, yeah, yes. L lobster mac <laughs> and cheese. They've got, uh, what, what else you got here? What's this great seafood dish that's not lobster? This is foodie de mar with mm -hmm. the shrimp and mussels, clams, and mm -hmm. linguine. Um, and one shell that I've already tried. What's the one thing that you love most about coming here? Um, what do the people the, the people like? I think being here is very uplifting because yeah. it's just a beautiful area. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful restaurant. It's a beautiful day for a beautiful. And it's yeah, beautiful and, day. and yeah. this is what it's all about. It's yeah. people are happy in the summer and. And what's not to be happy about? You got great people, great customers. You got a great family. You got a great chef, and you got great lobster rolls. The Lobster Shack. First lobster roll of the 2023 season. There will be more Keith and Symphony.